Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm going to present my thesis to you about the control and scalar system for the completed meal pasteurization process instructed by Dr. Tony Jo. And um, these are the main contents of my presentation today. Firstly, I will talk about the necessity of the automation and why the meal need to be pasteurized. Next, I will show you the overview of um, of the structure, block diagram, and the PNID pipe and instrument diagram of the process. Then the programming, how I simulate the device and parameters, and build my PLC program and scalar system. Finally, as the result and uh, conclusion. Okay, uh, let's move to the first topic. Um, <coughs> automation decreases the human works and prevents from the risk of human errors. So it is safe and also economic because we don't have to spend a lot of money on the workers. And the products are more qualified and reliable. And through the supervisory control and data acquisition system, we can control and monitor the state of the equipment and analyze the data to optimize the process. And cows can get a lot of microbacteria. Um, from the atmosphere, uh, from the water or the grass, and uh, these are some common uh, type of bacteria in raw milk. And uh, by fission from one cell to two cell, two to four, and so on, this uh, microorganism can generate very quickly in the milk, and uh, they can damage uh, people health badly. And that's why we need to pasteurize the milk because in uh, the bacteria cannot survive. Uh, in high temperature condition and <clears throat> here is the figure of my automation structure actually about this uh, also has the data server and plan management level but in this test I only work on these three in SCADA we have the um, screen and uh, faithless to control and monitor device and equipment and some tools to acquisition data such as alarm, trend, or repost. Uh, in control level, we have PLC or RTUs, uh, remote terminal units to control and get data from the actuator in the field level. And the next figure I want to show you is the block diagram. In pasteurization, heat treatment is the most important part. As you can see, there are many in and out direction from the heat treatment block. And based on this block diagram, the PNID is created and also the SCADA main screen. The technology used in the process will be discussed in the video which I will show you later. As you can see in the figure, uh, there are three main components that used in this process. The tank, the pump and the valve. And uh, three sensors, two, sen two temperature sen transmitter and uh, one pressure gauge. And the first one uh, is the tank. Mm, note that the differential of the volume is equal to the cross area of the tank times the differential of the height. It is also equal to the uh, flow in minus flow out. And um, this uh, and uh, so in um, Lavi software, I created this simulation subsystem for the tank, and this Q in minus Q out, and this gain is actually the one divided by the cross area and the result will be integrated to get the height or the level of the tank and we also have some threshold to simulate the low and high limit switch uh, for example um, for the balance tank we have the flow in from the water inlet uh, raw meal inlet or from the circulator or the diverter and the, the feed pump is set at the outlet of the, the balance tank and for the pump which control a process value uh, the output of the PID controller is in the PLC is an analog signal will be transferred to the variable frequency drive, the VFD, to control the speed of the pump. And the speed of the pump will affect to the flow rate in the pipe by this equation. Q is the flow rate is equal to the velocity times the cross area of the pipe. And I assume that this uh, second order transfer function uh, is for the pump and uh, the CV control variable. Uh, is the output of the PID uh, 
from the PLC in the range from 0 to 50 Hz will change the flow rate from 0 to maximum 12.5 cubic meter per hour. The same concept is new for the valve except the transfer function is the first order type and for the valve we control the open duty of the valve percentage instead of uh, the speed like the pump. And uh, for the sensor, uh, the temperature of uh, regeneration heating section uh, are categorized into three cases. If there is no liquid in the pipe, the temperature transmitter will indicate the ambient temperature about 25 to 30 Celsius degree. If there is liquid but heat is changing, then what's happen? Then the transmitter will um, indicate the initial value of the liquid temperature for uh, the first one is the about um, 60 and the heating temperature is cooled down a little bit around uh, 58 whenever there is heat is changing the temperature will indicate increase to the set point and uh, how about the pressure the pressure is controlled by a booster pump speed the faster the pump is the higher the pressure can get and the limitation of the, the pressure depends on the working pressure point of the homogeneous uh, and uh, as you can see in this figure at this point uh, the pressure is higher than the set point uh, let's say it's the 5 bar the speed of the pump will uh, decrease hence the flow rate will decrease and the next part uh, I want to talk about is the uh, object oriented programming method why I use this method Based on the working principle and uh, the technologies used in the process, there are many devices work the same ways. So object-oriented programming is logical in this case. And it can short the programming time. The first object is oh, sorry. The first object is motor. It is used for the device which work depend on a conditional signal, such as the tank level or the limit switch. For example, if the filling tank is in the high level, the bottle conveyor will run, and when the sensor detects that there is bottle at the filling position, then the conveyor stops. And uh, this is the uh, scalar phase plate to uh, control or uh, monitor the device. Uh, here is the num numeric input that uh, the operator can change the operating mo mode of the device. Mode 1 is for the automatic mode and uh, mode 2 is manual which uh, operator can uh, start and stop the device immediately and um, this, this light I used to indicate the device is running or stopping or being tripped and the second one is the PID motor the difference between these two functions is the PID controller the controller will compare the set point uh, compare the set point uh, to the process value this is the process value and um, it will compute the, the uh, output signal the control variable here and uh, it will change the speed of the pump or the open duty of the valve and operator can change the, the PID parameter online to uh, optimize the response of the device And uh, this is the uh, an alarm page. Alarms warn run time operator about the process condition that could potentially cause problem. And uh, trend provide data training and report capabilities that enable operator to quickly uh, troubleshoot the issues and ident identify cost saving opportunity. And this is the video. Before pasteurizing the milk. We need to fill the process with water. This is called circulation. That's why we open this uh, water inlet valve. And until uh, we, we get to our set point and especially this pressure. In this process, we have a vacuum deaerator here to uh, eliminate the air in the milk uh, to optimize the uh, process of heat, heat, heat treatment. And uh, the air also may cause the cavitation in the pump and it will harm the operating of the pump.
and this uh this uh, holding tank it is the designated to uh, hold the milk in a specified time to uh, completely kill all the bacteria and uh, this is a um, high pressure homogenizer uh, there are many valves and uh, piston in this device which will press the product uh, to homogenize the fat and the milk together because there is always fat in the milk and uh, the fat may be curdled at the cooling section and it will stuck the pipeline and uh, raise the pressure in the, the light and will damage to the process and uh, this uh, machine will work, um, work at a fixed flow rate and pressure condition which uh, depends on a process uh, depends on the process capacity. That's why we need to uh, control the pressure here. And in circulation stage, we don't need the homogenization, so we uh, switch this one to this position to bypass the homogenization. And the diverter will um, divert the product back to the balance tank till the Temperature is greater than uh, 90 Celsius degree, but in uh, circulation, we don't need to uh, switch that to the diverter position because we already have the circulator. It will drive the milk back to the uh, drive the liquid back to the balance tank. And uh, to supply the heat sources uh heat source for the heating section we have uh, this heat exchanger on this side we supply the hot steam and on, on this side we will circulate uh, water and uh, this is the buffer tank to store fast dry milk before being transferred to the filling section And we also have a, uh, a light to indicate that uh, if we had a, an emergency situation, uh, we can reset on the parameter that we have changed to the default parameter, follow the requirement from the customer. And you can see that uh, all of this device already work at the, the automatic mode. Let's see, the mode one. And uh, I think uh, we already get to our success form. So the circulation is done. We can change the mode of the uh, operating mode of the device if we want to change this to uh, menu, menu mode. To start it. We can start and stop it immediately. Uh, we can change the, the set point. I say I want this work at a 4.5 bars. Okay, let's see. Move to the filling section. In this way, uh, I uh, simulate the filling section. We have a uh, bottle detector. It's essential to uh, determine that uh, if there is bottle at the filling position, and this will detect the level of the bottle when we fill the, the milk inside. And we can change the number of bottles uh, in one box and uh, how many bottles we want to uh, produce a day. And this is for the uh, counting of bottle and box. The limitation of uh, this simulation is the uh, update time between the PLC and Skater and uh, LabVIEW. They are not uh, synchronous, so sometimes there is latching.
Okay, uh, now let's take a look at the, the alarm page. Uh, in this alarm, we have a uh, page to uh, show uh, on the alarm and uh, the events that's going on in this process. It will warn uh, the, the operator what's really going on and um, if the, the, the operator see that uh, everything is okay, so you can tell all of this go away. And all of this will be stored in a um, database, and uh, database, and uh, we can query all of those to uh, the an uh, Excel file, and uh, it can uh, update the data uh, every one minute. And uh, when the web also support the trend tool that we can uh, monitor or analyze the, the data in one time. Let's say if I want to uh, monitor the pressure at the homogeneous. With this tool, we can uh, uh, change the position of this bar to see uh, at that position uh, what is the value of the parameter and uh, we can uh, take note and uh, um, we can take note that uh, at this point there's something wrong maybe to uh, have a report later. And uh, we can also uh, run a re report online that we can uh, watch the, uh, the data through the an, uh, Excel uh, application. And uh, I think that's all. Oh well, one more thing. Uh, the homogeneity is quite important in this uh, process. So if there is something wrong with this uh, machine, let's say if it is it is stripped, so uh, the it will be bypassed and we will circulate the milk back to the balance tank uh, till the operator fix the problem and everything go back to normal. And uh, if uh, we had an uh, emergency, everything will stop. And until uh, the technician and the operator fix the problem, we will reset and everything work again. I think that's it. Thank you. And there's some conclusion of the studies. The first thing is the the Achievement of the fascist uh, uh, the control and scatter system enhance the production and make the process easy to run and monitor, improve the efficiency of the plant. And uh, object oriented programming methods short the programming time and create the consistency from building logical programs and designing control screen and data acquisition in, uh, in scale software. But the limitation uh, that I already mentioned in the video that the, uh, the synchronous update time between communication mediums slow down the simulation and the poor transfer function for the device make the, the test is not uh, uh, accurate, not reali realistic. And uh, some development tendency for the thesis, we can uh, uh, we can use the web server and access any web application uh, to bring more convenient control and supervision. Supervision and applying uh, Internet of Things can help manage the plan more effectively. And uh, for the pastor pasteurized milk, we can uh, uh, develop more like we can produ produce uh, a lot of product like uh, cream or yogurt or um, for milk powder and so on and uh, thank you for your listening